Welcome to WebStyleBrush. Which font file to use in CSS font face? If you have a custom font file, how will you create CSS font face using that? Let's say you have a font file in TTF, true type format. How will you create font face in CSS using that? Most front end developers do this. They go to Transponder, Add Fonts. We have got Open Science Regular .ttf file. Check options for TTF, EOT. WOWF, WOWF2, and SVG. Convert the font, download the font. These are downloaded files. Let's copy these fonts. We have already got TTF. Inside fonts folder, paste the files, and this is CSS containing font face. Inside our styles, copy font face, correct paths, and then use font family for our paragraph. Save. Inspect. Font has been applied to this paragraph. So we have used a custom font in our HTML page. Inside font face, we have got multiple font files in AOT format, in WOWF2 format, in WOWF format, .ttf format, and SVG format. So we have font face using custom font file and it is supposed to be cross browser compatible, cross device compatible because we have included all font file formats to ensure maximum compatibility. Well, this is wrong. This example is adding too many and unnecessary font files or assets in website. But in CSS3 font face, everybody uses multiple font types like TTF, EOT, WOWF, WOWF2, and SVG. So which one to use or should we use all? This video is about understanding web fonts and getting the most out of them. So we will look into it. But before that, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to this channel because I am bringing you similar content on this topic. Likes, comments help me to understand if you like the topic or not. Okay, back to the topic. Let's understand font file formats in detail. Embedded open type font, EOT. EOT is a legacy format developed by Microsoft. Only supported by Internet Explorer, it is needed for Internet Explorers older than IE9 and it is served uncompressed so it has large size. Then we have true type font or TTF. TTF font file has larger file size. It is developed by Microsoft and Apple in the 1980s. We have open type font or OTF. OpenType font is a joint effort between Adobe and Microsoft. OTF fonts can be used by Mac and Windows operating systems. So TTF and OTF are normal old fonts or full system fonts with large file size. Scalable Vector Graphics font or SVG font. SVG is not great for body text. You cannot select individual characters, words or any custom selection in SVG font. You can only select the whole row or paragraph of text. If you are targeting iPhone and iPad users, SVG fonts can be helpful there. SVG fonts are allowed by version 4.1 and below of Safari for iOS. Web Open Font Format That is WOWF. WOWF is collaboration by the Mozilla Foundation, Microsoft and Opera Software. Developed in 2009, it is wrapper format for true type and open type fonts. WOWF throws away bits that are critically important for system installation but irrelevant for the web. WOWF is a compressed or zip form of the true type or TTF font and is supported by all modern browsers. It is small and can be delivered over the network like a graphic file. Compressed fonts load faster in browser. WOWF2 or WOWF2.0 Web Open Font Format 2.0 WOWF2.0 is based on the Broadly Compression Algorithm. 
wowf 2 it is an update to the original wowf format and is the next generation of wowf it is developed by google and is best format for the web because it offers smaller file sizes and better performance for modern browsers wowf 2 format is 30 percent more compressed than original wowf format so it offers 30 percent reduction in file size WOWF and WOWF2 are lighter than TTF font files. Like if we see font files, .ttf is 127 kilobyte in size and .wowf is 79 kilobyte in size. .wowf2 is 59 kilobyte in size for open sans font. So WOWF and WOWF2 are lighter than TTF font format. So what is the conclusion? Which is better, TTF or WOWF? Do we need WOWF and WOWF2 in CSS font face? Do we need all font formats in CSS font face? Answer is SVG and EOT are considered dead formats for fonts. TTF and OTF are full system fonts. So TTF and OTF should not be used in web development projects. Only use WOWF2 or if you need legacy support, use WOWF. Do not use any other format for fonts. Implementation will be like this. From this font phase, we can safely remove EOT. And then we can remove TTF and SVG as well. So we are left with WOWF2 and WOWF. If you are adding compatibility that WOWF offers, it is important to have WOWF2 before WOWF format because the browser will use first format that it supports. If WOWF2 is not supported, then this WOWF will be used. Otherwise, web browser will use WOWF2 and our font is still working. So can we use WOWF? WOWF web open font format has got wide range of compatibility and WOWF2 Internet Explorer IE does not support WOWF2 but WOWF has got wide support across all popular web browsers. So WOWF and WOWF2 have got all the support we need. And the conclusion is, do not use extra fonts that are not needed by web browsers. Only use WOWF and WOWF2. Preferably WOWF2. To add compatibility for Internet Explorer, you can use WOWF as well. Check description of this video for links on more videos related to this topic. Okay, I hope it helped. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts and comments and I will see you in the next video.